going to show you today is uh, a few of nature's hobo stoves. Now, ideally, um, you need to be in the woodlands to make these stoves. Um, if you're on the, the moorland or the mountains, or um, you go on across a path, across uh, the farmer's field or something like that, that you haven't got the materials to make them really. So you, ideally you need a proper manufactured little stove. But uh, if you're in the woods, you could make these little stoves. They take a little time to make, but um, they're okay. They're very simple to make. And uh, the tool I use to make them is just a pen knife with uh, a saw. So if you're gonna buy a pen knife, make sure it's got a saw. Now, um, yeah, don't bother with the old, uh, <laughs> the old Rambo knife of years ago. I did have a, a, a knife similar to that in the uh, in the early eighties, I think, or mid. I can't remember. I think it was the early nineteen eighties, and uh, they don't work really. They're all gimmicky. The old uh, with the hollow handle. Um, with the old saw on the back because uh, the, the, they don't work. The saw on the back doesn't work because um, the teeth are, are not offset. The teeth are in line like that. So they'll saw for about half an inch and then they'll stop and get stuck. So don't bother with rubbish like that. All you need to make these things is just one of these pen knives with a saw. Uh, and that's it so let's have a look I forgot to say um, these little nature's hobo stoves are not made of um, limbs off live trees you never cut limbs off live trees uh, and they're not made of dead standing really I uh, that dead standing is um, dry wood that's off the ground and that's ideal for fires but uh, Ideally, they should be made of either a hardwood or uh, what you would call, I think, um, dead lion, which is like dead limbs lying on the ground because they're going to be damp and they're not going to burn through because the last thing you want is uh, to, while you're cooking on that fire and one of the, one of the limbs burns through and your pot falls on the floor <laughs> and all your food goes on the floor. You don't want that. So uh, it's ideally you need to make them out of either hardwood or um, dead wood lying on the ground, which is uh, not rotten, but damp and strong. So let's have a look. First off is the old uh, two fork sticks and the crossbar. There we go. The old cowboy setup, if you like. Uh, now I haven't got any limbs on here and the same on the other one to uh, lower it like that. So what I've done here, I've made, I've made four fork sticks, which is another one there and another one just behind there. And to lower the pot, what I can do is turn it like that and whoop, stick it down like that. So it gives you that option of lowering the pot there you go I'll just put it like that and um, if 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 you've got a pot like this ideally you need a pot with a proper baling arm but if you've if you haven't got a baling arm you've just got little handles like this you'll have to um, put dig some roots up and uh, and make a little half a overhand knot like that because the trouble is I can't get at the food to stir it so uh, but it's, it's it can it can be done it's just a bit awkward so really, ideally you need with this setup you need uh, a, a pot with a proper baling arm so uh, that's the old cowboy setup if you want to call it like that next up is the old four stakes in the ground and that is it as simple as that make sure they're nice and level and uh, that's it really i'd just like to say that these hobos the nature's hobo stoves what i'm showing you now is just a temporary thing that you use once and then you move on the next day you know and that's it it's just uh you're just something very simple that you can use 
uh, while you're on the move. So, uh, yeah, just four stakes in the ground. Easy as that. And the other sort is uh, you've got your long pole running down there, got your pot on the end there, and you've got a fork holding the pole up there. And at the end, just over there, is an anchor holding the pole down. Um, now that anchor could be a stone or it could be an upside down fork like that. Now the reason I've got two of them there is not only to explain that but um, also you could use two because you could take that away and then lower the pot over the fire. Next up is just three rocks, if you can get hold of the rocks, uh, and that's it really. Um, if there's a breeze, I, ideally the, the breeze needs to be going in this direction, so the air will escape through there and it'll keep the fire a bit hotter than usual. Today there's no breeze, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, just three rocks and that is it. Nice and simple, and then throw them away later. Scatter them away and leave no trace.
and that's how it's done so there you go it does work and uh, anyway i uh, hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one so uh, i've left no trace so um, that's the end of this one so there you go all right cheers thanks for watching bye